that is write a program to input a word and display all the consonants present in it display the total number of consonants present in it and this program we will be doing using sub procedure as well as function procedure okay okay let me break this one from here consonants present in it so first we will be solving using sub procedure okay declare sub okay let's do using function because function is already ready so let's do using function then we'll convert the same program using function procedure okay so okay declare function consonant this is fine now this is a program related with consonant so i'm just keeping my function name as consonant now here also we have to discuss about this dollar sign because we are writing program through function now in this program what we will do is we will count the total number of consonants and we'll display it so basically this program is about displaying the total number of consonants and the total number of consonants is a number so this program will print a number and whatever it prints that is what the function is going to return so this particular program will return a numeric value and that numeric value will resemble the total number of consonants present in that particular word which the user types so since this program is displaying a number our function will also return the same that is our function will return a numeric value and if our function returns a numeric value dollar sign is not required so this part is going to be empty that without dollar sign and double dollar we need it because we are taking one word as an input so our input is same now here we just need to modify our message that is the total number of consonants present in the word is okay this is it now this is the end of our main module now what we have to do is we have to go to our definition part and edit in few places okay okay here also what we will be doing is we will form a loop as usual one to the length of the word that's there we will extract this is the statement for extraction we will check this is the condition that we will be using to check and if this condition is false then we know it is a consonant so we'll go to the else part which is our false part and there we will what we'll do is instead of storing what we'll do is we will count and in order to count what we'll do is we'll use one variable which is count and with the help of this variable we will count the total number of consonants so this is the variable this count is a variable that we are about to use to count the total number of consonants so this is also going to repeat so count is equals to count plus and we will count one by one so we will write one so count equal to count plus one so if it, there is one consonant it will come over here it will in uh, the variable value of the variable will increase by one if another consonant is encountered then again the count value will increase so we have to increase the uh, value of count by one so the only change is this one instead of a c dollar is equal to c dollar plus cs dollar which we use to store the consonant itself instead of that what we'll do is we will count and in order to count we will be using this statement so let's go towards our editor and here okay let's go from the beginning okay here is our definition we start off our definition we have converted everything into lowercase here is our loop extraction condition checking if this is false then it will go to the else part and here we have to do some modification that is instead of storing consonant we have to count and in order to count we use count is equals to count plus one so within this loop what will happen is all the consonants will be counted and it will be stored in variable count and that is what we have to return so c o u n t count 
Now there is dollar sign over here, which is not required. So let's remove this dollar sign. Okay. And let's run our program and check our output. So enter any word, let's say A E R O P P L A N E. So there are, there are altogether four consonants. Our output has to be four. Okay, you can see the total number of consonants is four. So our output is correct. So let's uh, see how this output is being displayed. So let's test this program. Let's dry run this program and let's see the output, okay? So at the beginning, we have a value. I'm using this uh, uh, word tiger as an example, double dollar equals to tiger. So everything is converted into small letters. So double dollar holds tiger, every, which is where everything is in small letters. We have a loop variable i, it will start from one. And in this particular loop, our loop uh, variable will start from one and it will end at six. It will run till five. And after that, it will terminate because the length of the word is five. So it will run till one to five. Okay, CS dollar has value one. See, now we have, okay, sorry, i has value one. Now we have another variable CS dollar. So this will extract uh, the value of the first position because i is one and this is the position and i is one. So one comma one means first position one character that is t. t will be extracted. Condition checking will take place. It will be false because t is a consonant. We have checked for vowels, which is false. It will go to the false part. Here it will encounter another variable count. So here is count. Count at the beginning, it is empty. There is nothing over here. So QBasic assumes to be zero. Since it is a numeric variable, QBasic assumes uh, it to be zero. So zero plus one is one. So count will hold value one. So we have counted one consonant. So this is how it's, it works. So end if, then next. Next will again take us to step. I will increase, I becomes two. Two comma one means second position, one character, it is I. I is true with because of this condition. This condition is true. The whole condition becomes true. Then it will go to its true part. And in true part, there is nothing. You can see the highlighted part over here. There is nothing over here. If there is nothing, then nothing will happen. So nothing happens and our control will go to end if, then next. Next will take us to step. I will further increase. It becomes three. So third position, one character. Third position, one character is G. So G will be stored over here. Our condition will be false. It will go towards our false part where our value of count will increase. One count is one, one plus one is two. So the new value of count is two. And if next, next will again take us to step. I will increase, I becomes four. So fourth position, one character. Fourth position, one character is E. So E will be stored in CS dollar. Condition checking takes place. This condition is true, which will make the whole condition to be true. It will go to its true part. It will find nothing so nothing will happen then it will come to end if then it will come to next next will take us to step i will further increase becomes five five comma one is our last character r so r will be stored in cs dollar condition checking takes place condition checking becomes false so our condition is false control will go to the false part so we reach in this statement count equal to count plus one so value of count is two so two plus one is three. So the new value of count is three. Again, and if next, it will take us to step, no step, I will increase, I become six. Now what, what will happen is our loop will terminate because six is an invalid value because our loop runs only from one to five where six is an invalid value. Our loop will terminate, our control will come below next. Below next, it finds this statement, which is, the statement to return the value and it will return the value of count which is three three will be returned it will go to the main module and it will get printed from here from this statement it will get printed so let's run one more time tiger and the consonant is three so this is how this program works okay now we have finished off with this uh, number of consonants with function now let's convert the same program using sub procedure so it's quite easy. Now using sub, let's replace everything with sub. 
sub means SUV sub. Okay. Now, while we write program using sub procedure, we need not worry about this dollar sign. Dollar sign, we don't need to write at all. So CLS input is same. Now here we need to use call keyword. Call, nothing is required. Consonant and dollar sign. Okay, there is no dollar sign, so no problem. Okay, now let's go to the definition part. Call, consonant, it's all same. Now here, okay, it's sub. Okay, now all these statements are as it is. This is same. This loop is also same. Extraction, condition checking, everything is same except for this one. Here, what we have to do is instead of returning a value, we have to print. We have to display the message over here only. So print. So we write down the message, the total number of consonants present in the word is it is stored in count so let's run our program and our program is correct so this is how we solve using sub procedure thank you so much for watching please do like my video so that i get motivated to create more of these videos we would appreciate if you would share this video with your friends and if you have any queries and suggestions let me know through the comment section lastly please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified every time i post a new video thank you